I was working on a turn of the century schooner in Maine, right? It yeah, was... I was going to ask you about that. I was going through your instance. <laughs> uh, go ahead, yeah. Um, so I was. It was uh, seven sails, no engine on board. You said a 12th century schooner or turn of the century, not 12th okay. century. I was Jesus like, God Christ, damn, dude! Like, Ugh. what shape yeah. that thing in? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rough. <laughs> um, and this one's actually. Um, Recently built. It was built in the 80s, but in the okay. style of these classic schooners. We yeah, I saw along. the photo. It looked yeah. like an old fucking pirate Authentic ship. as fuck. It's sick. Yeah. No engine okay. on board. Just seven sails. We had a yawl boat. Mm-hmm. We'll drop off the back to like okay. maneuver, but um, it was super cool. And we sailed along si- b- side um, vessels built in 1905. Like that was common. The Louis R. French. So it's this okay. fleet in Maine, yeah. and I just like got a job up there for two years and just lived aboard mm-hmm. and hung out, sailed this old boat. And I was working on boats in general at the time. I worked on a bunch mm-hmm. of different boats for like three years. Um, that's that's a whole thing. Sick. How old were you when you were doing this? Um, like what year? So I, after graduating, the summer after high school, I split mm-hmm. down to Florida okay. and started working on yachts on the weekends there and then tour guiding. Dude, um, yeah, it was nuts. <laughs> um, yeah, and I just showed up and worked my ass off and made Good my way you, in. you, dude. Yeah. And you're 18. 18. And what year is that? Um, 2016, end of 2016. Sick. Right? Yeah, so... All right, well, let's let's start there, dude. Let's <laughs> yeah. go, go like the... Because that's how I wanted to just start the show. We kind of had a cool tangent of, you're awesome, do a bunch of cool drugs. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, go but to the, like the that cliff notes. Much. That's a problem, yeah. Yeah, we could have spent I'm very ranty two hours. when it comes to psychedelics. No, I want to get to, like, the main topic, but, like... <laughs> yeah. Just do the cliff notes, like, when were you born, when and where were you born? Yeah. Because you, you just made it to, like, 18. Like, real quick, you don't have to, like, dwell on any one thing. No, no, of course. I was born in 1997 at the base of Mount Olympus, Utah. <laughs> <laughs> He's Greek. He's Greek. Utah, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking sick. <laughs> Love it. There's a fucking lightning fucking yeah. storm. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah. dude. Sick. Um, okay. Yeah, so. I, I can't up... tell if you were fucking with me a lot of the no, time. No, no. That's true. <laughs> Like, so, when we talk outside of this, like, Mike's and shit is like, I can't tell if Dio's being serious. He's <laughs> <laughs> that funny. <laughs> well, thank okay, you. Okay, yeah, Mount, sure. Mount Olympus. All right, go ahead. Um, that so, was 97. Yeah, 97. Okay. So, I mean, I grew up in Utah. Weird mm-hmm. childhood. Was raised very Mormon. Okay. Did that whole shebang. Um, then through high school, I ran a food truck. <laughs> the world's best corn dog truck. Oh, what? You yeah. were, you worked on it or ran it? I ran it. So my Sick, dad's dude. buddy started these like franchise of corn dogs trucks, and then he got us into it. And so we ran like the food truck for that dude, region. Dude, you look like a guy that would sell fucking corn dogs. World's did best you corn look dogs. Like I'm not this fucking now. With you. Like back then, you were 16 selling I corn dogs. I did actually. I did have the longer hair. No we're mustache. Gonna, we're gonna we're gonna post yeah. a photo of this. You're <laughs> gonna have to send me one. I mean, my hair wasn't cur- my hair didn't get curly until I was like 22 or something like that. It just like poofed. Oh, okay. Later. <laughs> yeah. You just got this awesome juice for later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty rad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was the second bolt of Zeus's lightning. First, <laughs> it was when I was a, born, and he's like selling a corn dog one day. The legend has it. Fucking skidah. Yeah. Curly hair, and it was like, yeah, okay, he's ready. <laughs> like, he's ready. That's fucking awesome. Okay, so you're 16, slanging corn dogs, and slinging you're still dogs. in Utah. Yeah. Are you still in, uh, yeah, in still Olympus? In no, I um, Logan, Utah, Hiram, Utah. Hiram, Utah is where I grew up, which is like this okay. tiny town in super northern Utah. And how far is that from like Salt Lake? Uh, like an hour and a half, two hours, depending okay. on the weather. But For uh, sure. Yeah, generally like an hour, hour and a half. Um, and actually... It's cra- kind of crazy. I like. I had a really whimsical, great childhood. Like, <laughs> which is very. How you call it whimsical? Like, yeah. <laughs> well, Disney you're selling corn dogs in a whimsical found... Disney film. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, well, it, I grew up in a hundred year old Mormon church okay. with like a full bell tower. It was like fucking dog shit when my body, my family bought it, and oh, like okay, in, like that's really sick. beat up shape. And so my childhood was like renovating this 1905 um, something like that building. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, fucking crazy. Um, it's like my wife's fucking dream, dude. Like, we've looked on it's a pain different... In the ass. I'm sure it is. It's like a pain in, in the ass. In, yeah. in your brain, you're like, dude, yeah. we'll buy this old church in fucking Milwaukee. And right. And we'll renovate it. And have it. But in reality... It's a 25-year renovation. <laughs> yeah. We're still working yeah. on it. Like, my... It's, we're all moved still out, but working like, on it. Yes. Damn, my parents dude. are, like, turning it into an Airbnb. This Like, they're working... That's they're turning good, the bell yeah. tower into a loft Airbnb thing. It's just, it, which Let has know been like the done. goal oh, for like 10 years. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. My wife to. would love that. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell her that she'll be stuck. Um, there is an Instagram page that's the, like the old white church because we were running yeah. it for the Airbnb trying to market it. Oh, sick. So you do have it as Airbnb? No. Oh, <laughs> but gotcha. we started the Instagram because we were going to and then it's been. It's a slow build. It's going very slow. slow <laughs> yeah. 
Nice. Okay, dude. So you guys, what year did you guys have that house? Like your whole life? Um, we moved there in 2006. So I okay. originally grew up in like Farmington until I was like eight. Farmington was by Lagoon, like the amusement park in Utah. Yeah. Bro. Closer to Salt Lake. Yeah, I don't think. That's fine. I've I been know. to Utah. Yeah. yeah. Driven no, no, let's Utah. go. I could. Let's do hours on Utah geography. Yeah, I don't know yeah, how yeah. many people are watching that <laughs> yeah. know these towns in Utah, but go ahead. I mean, yeah, yeah. shout out to Trey but Lamb. Killing Utah, it out in Utah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Utah. All of that. Um, so after high school, which is where we were talking about, um, I saved a bunch yeah. of money running the corn dog truck because basically ran it like yeah, ten hour days, just often. slinging just, fucking corn dogs. Yeah, yeah, and saving money and like yeah, good for you. I rearranged my schedule my last like trimester of high school, so I had one class like at eight a.m. and then I was just slinging corn dogs all day. Like, <laughs> let me ask you this: how how did you do with the ladies with in your like in the corn like hey yeah. lady, I I run this corn dog truck right. I'm, I mean, I was pretty greasy, first off. <laughs> Why does it, like, you're super confident like, now. Yeah. I feel like you could still make it work. No, no, I was pretty confident work. then. No, or, was it? We okay. were, like, the girl I'm dating now, in a long roundabout way, we found out this, like, after we started dating, but, like, mm. I've served her corn dogs multiple I times. I fucking knew you were going to yeah. say that. <laughs> So, yeah, no, Theo? there was an angle. From world famous fucking corn dogs? And- yeah. Well, <laughs> So me and my girlfriend, we didn't know each other in high school. Okay. I was visiting, and then like we matched on Tinder, and then just did distance for like ten months, and then moved into each other. So okay. I was working on boats for like the I was in working on yachts in the Bahamas while I was dating, or while we were just like first started dating, and then we mm-hmm. moved into it with each other. I followed her up to Alaska, where we tour guided for a summer, and then moved to Spokane, and then here. Damn, dude. Okay, you guys yeah. have been together for a minute then. Yeah, we're coming like four you... f- four years or so now. Four, yeah, you're born in '97. Yeah. Okay, so you're fucking. You're ten years younger. Yeah. Because you just yeah. went through like you did your Cliff Notes. We got there. We were like, oh shit, you just did the Cliff Notes in a roundabout way. Yeah. Like, oh, we got here. Like, wow, you did that clean. <laughs> well done, sir. Like, it, nicely done. So, sixteen corn dog slang in a couple yeah. years. So then that. And went then to... what, what? What made you fucking want? You saw Below Deck and were like, oh, I really want to. No, dude. No, 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 no. My wife I parted with those guys. Like, They're really? the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yachting's a small. So I got. Of course, I'm sure. Yeah. So I started working date. So, okay. High school. Left high school um, and just moved down to Florida. I've never been to the East Coast. Like, uh-huh. didn't know anyone. This just is 2000. No. Tw- 2016. The winter of 2016. Yeah. See, I'm trying to push. I'm like, yeah. 2005. And it's like, no, that's my time. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, because it's your graduation date. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm 18 and 05. Yeah, yeah. I had 10. All right. So 2015, you're like, I'm just going to. So what, yeah, what, yeah. what, but what made you? Sorry, you were answering that. Yeah. yeah. What made you? I mean, I got into sailing, oddly enough, and my dad okay. was also In just... Utah, though? That's where I'm like, how the fuck do you connect? We came out here, did a trip on a Hobie Cat, and then okay. we got, like, a $200 Hobie Cat. So that's the thing. My, my childhood was whimsical, but, like, so on a dime. <laughs> like, the church we got was busted, mm-hmm. janky, like, yeah. so much work. It was cheaper than our house, and it's like this... There was a full gymnasium, a full chapel with all the original pews with a balcony, that's a sick. bell tower, gothic style, like, fucking... Crazy. Um, you, so you're like nine. Your family bought yeah. this and you're nine. So yeah. for a nine-year-old, that's probably pretty Fuck badass. Awesome. Dude, we explored crawl spaces my whole childhood and like yeah. found relics. Like got like Ghosts? what we were talking like about. The, the, we found a pipe. We found. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. Um, oh, you found shit like we that? We found pipes. We found like well, those are probably a cow jaw tweak, in one. Tweakers. Yeah. yeah really... Well, no, it was Hiram, Utah. So no, it's remained family residential area. And okay. it was the church up until the 70s. And then multiple families have owned it since. Okay. Um, I just gotta stop tapping on the table. I don't You're know how good. That this, that's why. No, this this should be. We'll find out, dude. <laughs> yeah, who gives a shit? Um, we'll we'll find out in the comments. Yeah, yeah, if get, <laughs> yeah. If right? we fucking get any, yeah. there'll be a bunch of Mormons, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. no, probably. Yeah, yeah. Were there a lot of Greek Mormons or? Nah, nah. I right? mean, in my family, but like we're all Greek Mormons. <laughs> but we're the only ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, not that I know of. Like, also the other thing is. Utah, everyone's mostly just white. Like, <laughs> it's yeah, not sure. everyone. And yeah. generally, because it's kind of the pilgrim story that originally settled Utah, most people in Utah kind of have a Mormon background and start sure. their family history there Yeah, if in an interesting way, if that makes sure. sense. So, Or the, your family culture is remains in the Mormon culture rather than your yeah. original ethnicity. I, yeah, dude, sense. you're talking to a Jewish guy. Correct. There yeah. we go. It's like, yeah, whether yeah. or not you like <laughs> yeah. it, you're a Jewish guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, hey, I mean, I don't mean it good or bad. It's just that's what it is. Like yeah, being no. Mormon, like, you're, 
You're weird like the Jews double is what back. I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah. Well, you're Greek and Mormon. It's like you got a double whammy. Yeah, the Greek not so much. More no. Mormon influence. The Greek. I, was, yeah, I, I had a yaya, I, but I don't know like any Greek or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been to Greece? Like know, if your family's not so really that. No, I want to so bad though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got to go for with school and did a study abroad when I was. Fuck yeah. When I was dude. a kid, and uh, yeah, dude, it was sick. What age? Fuck. Like, uh, so like the ten years that I did, I was like after high school, oh six. Cool. Seven. I was like yeah. nineteen, twenty. Yeah. Hell junior yeah. college. It was junior college. I'm not like bragging. You did. Well, I know, no, but you did multiple like study abroad. Well, that's a really yeah, cool way wasted. to experience countries. Yeah. Well, that was like yeah. with school and the way it was worked out. It was actually like cheaper than a university here in the states. So that was like my selling point. Nice. To get the get the dough, get the bread. Yeah. But yeah, then I, we did uh, Greece and Turkey, and uh, the dude I got Sick. to go with was a buddy of mine from high school. Like we weren't that close in high school. We mm-hmm. knew each other, but then got real tight on this this trip and we lived together you know watching like casino shit like the first night there i couldn't slip sleep and like, we watched the casino together it was fucking sick first time i ever saw that movie so i don't think i've seen it never seen I casino apologize. yeah yeah that's okay yeah it sounds like a big one <laughs> it's a big one it's like martin scorsese well, i mean probably everyone says like goodfellas but then casino's like a second best word you know but you it's, it's a good it's a fun movie you want to dive into movies all the time well sure well i mean we're gonna get yeah, there eventually yeah, but, but yeah go ahead goodfellas yeah Eh, no yeah i, I don't know it, okay. it didn't hit me it, but it was like so built up where everyone's oh, like okay. because like you get into like i was super sure. into film in high school so it's been a long time since i've thought about it but in high school we're all like there was a high school film class whatever where we like we went through film history blah blah blah, and that's what really got me into it um, yeah cool class really kick-ass class um, so goddamn explain yourself why so, goodfellas is and it's probably because when you're hanging out with a bunch of film geeks and everyone's like oh God, uh, Goodfellas is like the Bible of um, oh, mafia okay. movies, and, and it yeah. just was so high where they're just like, "This is the the pre- cream of the crop," blah blah blah. And it was like, mm. "No, there's actually some pretty fun, cool ones that, like, I don't, I didn't get that. It was so on a high bar, and maybe sure. I just haven't probably done the highest like, bar. It might yeah. be yeah. one of the, which is the worst way to say a movie. I it's couldn't agree more. It's the worst way to see it. It ruins okay. so many movies. Yeah. I'm not that upset, dude. I know I made a, a little clip where right. I said, like, anyone who said that is a piece of shit. Oh, but, really? <laughs> yeah. But that's what I thought you were getting, like, no. poking, poking me to, like, get a reaction. But, like, no, but no. that's hilarious. <laughs> um, no, it's just because my buddy uh, was Dave, who I do this other sh- part of the show with. Yeah. Uh, he had me watch Ocean's Eleven with, like, Brad Pitt and Clooney and all those guys. Right. And I had never seen it. I wouldn't watch I just wouldn't watch it. And, uh, Finally watched it and I was like, oh, it's kind of like how you are. I'm like, that was okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, it was good, but like, yeah. not as good as like eh, what everyone's saying. And yeah. I mean, it was good. But I think Goodfellas, to me, maybe because it was pitched as a a, a mob movie, because to me, it's a comedy. Oh, okay. Like, rewatch it now as a comedy. It's yeah. The, it's the best. It's the best. Okay. No, that might change the angle. Because... Uh, it definitely will. Because to yeah. me, it's a movie that when you first watch it, it's a mob movie. People get whacked. It's it's gnarly. Yeah. But when you rewatch it now, dude, all that shit, even the, when they kill people, is riotously funny. Huh. It becomes, it's kind of like Quentin Tarantino. Like, yeah. it, you don't realize you're watching a comedy, but like. No, he's so funny. It's, yeah, he's you, so exactly. Funny. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. Reservoir Dogs is really fucked up, but it's also really funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, comedy and horror beats are like Sh- same sure. timing. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, or just they have... the emo- evoking of like the emotion. Absolutely. But Absolutely. I think like similar to like, uh, I can't remember who, I was just listening to somebody talk about this, but The Sopranos is also like one of those shows that they like, the greatest show of all time. Yeah. And I feel like it could be overhyped. Because mm-hmm. when you come in with, like, low expectation, you're like, this is fucking That's great. That's the best. Yeah, and yeah. Like, I feel like with them, and it's, like, subtly done, too, it's, like, a drama, but it's also a comedy. Like, what they're saying is really fucking funny. You know, Goodfellas, to me, is just fucking riotously funny. Like, Pesci in it is... Yeah. <sighs> See, I think I took it literal. I mean, I watched well, it you, as a version. You, you like... <laughs> and you were watching with these fucking film nerds who were sitting there all fucking serious. Yeah. You watched that with me, dude, I'm laughing... Okay. The yeah. No. Whole I gotta goddamn back. time, <laughs> like like when it's not you're not supposed to be laughing, but it's right. like it's fucking fun. It's funny. Yeah. So like just how Bob De Niro gets mad at people, it's I've seen it so many times. Like he's like, what the, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like oh, he's like going at the guys. It's like to me now funny. So right. But yeah, it's, I don't know. Like to me, it's like yeah, everyone's different and they're gonna have their own opinions. But 